Hello everyone. Welcome to the tutorial of Gato Plugins. In my last video, I showed you how to add image swatches by creating custom product attribute. But today I'm going to show you how to add image swatches from existing custom product attribute. If you still didn't check my last video, then please do check my video. The video link will be given in the description box. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. To turn your variable product attributes variations into image swatches from the existing custom product attribute, you need to install both the free and premium version of the plugin variation swatches for WooCommerce. To download the free version of the plugin, navigate to add new from plugins. Now search for variation swatches for WooCommerce by Imran Ahmed and install the plugin. The plugin has more than 200,000 active installations and plenty of 5 stars ratings. Once the installation is completed, then activate the plugin. Now the free version of your plugin is activated. Now you need to enable the premium version of the plugin variation searches for WooCommerce. To purchase the premium version of the plugin, go to the link getplugins.com. Click on plugins and click on variation searches for WooCommerce. Now purchase the plugin. Once you purchase the plugin, then download the zip file of the plugin. Now head to the product backend and navigate to add new from plugins. Click on upload plugin. Choose the downloaded zip file of the plugin. Now install the plugin. Once the installation is completed, then activate the plugin. So now both the free and premium version of variation searches for WooCommerce plugin are installed and activated. Now let's get into the main video. Let's see the product in which I want to add image swatches. So this is the product. This product has a brand attribute with Nike and Adidas variation. And currently the variations are in buttons. We will convert these buttons into image swatches. Now head to your product backend to add image swatches into your product. Click on attributes. So this is the custom product attribute. This attribute has Nike and Adidas variation. Now click on swatches settings. Select image type for brand attribute and click on the save swatches settings button. Go to the product front end. So you can see the change in the variations, but still the variations are not showing any image because we have only selected the type for the attribute, but we didn't define any image for the variations. So to define the images for the variations, go back to the product backend and expand the brand attribute. Click on Nike variation. Click on Upload or Add Image button and choose your desired image. Click on the Save Swatches Settings button. Go to the product front end. So you can see Nike variation is showing its image swatch, but Adidas variation is not showing any image right now. So we will follow the same process to add image swatch on Adidas variation. Go back to the product backend and click on Adidas Variation. Click on Upload or Add Image button and choose your desired image. Now click on the Save Swatches Settings button. Go to the product front end. So now you can see Adidas Variation is also showing its image swatch like Nike Variation. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of the latest videos. If you have any query, please write it down in the comment section. Thank you.